In terms of competitive advantage and then regain, lost and then regained, uh, there aren't many examples of that. In the property casualty company, I've got a friend who always wants to buy lousy companies with the idea he's going to change them into wonderful companies. And I just ask him, you know, where in the last hundred years he's seen it happen? I mean, <clears throat> Geico got <clears throat> into trouble in the early 70s, but it, it had a wonderful business model. It did get off the tracks, but it wasn't because the model went astray. It's because they they started reserving incorrectly and went crazy on growth and a few things like that. But the basic model was still underlying it. Uh, you might argue that that one company that lost its competitive <clears throat> position and then came back uh, in a different way actually was Pepsi-Cola. I mean, they, they were twice as much for a nickel, too. They were selling on a quantitative basis. The fact that you got to guzzle more of the stuff for a nickel twice as much as the slogan went. And they lost that edge uh, post-World War II when costs went up a lot. And so they basically changed their marketing approach successfully, and that's very, very seldom done, but you have to give them credit for that. To some extent, Gillette lost its competitive position somewhat in the 30s, lost market share against what they called penny blades and all that, and then regained it in a very big way uh, in the next 10 or so years when their market share went up enormously. Um, but generally speaking, if you lose your competitive position, the Packard Motor Company had the premier uh, car in the mid-30s. The Cadillac was not the premier. Uh, it was a Packard. And then they went down scale one year, and they never came back. They jumped their sales that one year because everybody wanted to own a Packard, and now you could own one a little cheaper. But they never regained that upscale image again. And certain department stores have done that, too. They've had an upscale image, and you can always juice up your sales particularly if you've got a great upscale image by, by uh, having you know, this sale or that sale and, and going down market. It's very hard to go back up market again. And you've seen some great department stores that have had that or, or specialty stores that have had that problem. Charlie, you got any thoughts on that? No more. Okay.